We have about so 335,000 student loans and about 136,000 in credit cards, 44,000 personal loans, and 35,000 car loans. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. Anything that I just come across, really. There's not a particular theme for this show. It's It kind of acts like uh, a vlog, uh, if anything. Kind of like a video journal of things. Sometimes I do personal things. Sometimes I talk about stuff that's in the news or just weird things that I happen to see, which this is one of them. <laughs> So a millennial couple in Kansas needs help making ends meet on $500,000 a year. These people make $500,000 a year and they can't, they can't make their ends meet. I remember when I was a kid, I used to think ends meet, ends like meat, like a slab of meat. No, (laughs) It's like ends, you know, like the end of this, end of this coming together type of thing. Yeah, but um, they're they're having they're basically they're having trouble trying to pay all their bills. On five, they make five hundred thousand a year. Let me just rephrase that. So just because you make a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean you're rich. <laughs> there are some people who make a lot less than this, and they live a rich and full life because. They don't have a whole bunch of ridiculous stuff. Anyway, let's just say sympathy is in short supply. I've got no sympathy. Give me $500,000 a year. Holy crap, I'd pay off my car and my house. Um, I'd have money set aside. I would invest money. Shoot, man. But no, um, why would that happen to me? I don't know. Maybe my YouTube channel will, will take off and I'll start making money or something. I don't know. In an example of extreme American uh, consumerism, one anonymous man using the handle Slavic Phil claimed to be seeking tips on how to stretch his household income of 500000 This is like unbelievable. A year when he posted his since removed budget on Reddit. He probably got so much crap. Uh, my wife and I are in our early 30s. We, we live in Kansas. I'm a CTO of a well-known startup company, and she's a model, he wrote. As you can see, each year we have a large deficit. Currently, we add that to our mortgage each year. We've been doing this for two years. All right, so here is his budget right here. So $18,000 a year is going to his 401k. I hate 401ks. Um, that's because someone else takes your money and invests it. Screw that. Take your money and you invest it. Don't throw it in a 401k. You invest it. Open up an account at a um, at a, a, a brokerage. There's plenty of them out there. And you pick the stocks that you want to get. You know, learn a bit about the stock market. Learn about the different things that you should buy and maybe things to stay away from. But you do the investing. Have control of where your money is going. 401ks, you don't. That's why I don't like 401ks. Uh, So their gross take home is $308,000 a year. Their monthly take home pay, this is a month. $25,600. That's how much money they make in one month. One month. My goodness, I can almost have my car paid off in one month with that. They spend $3,000 a month on food. (laughs) They must be going to expensive restaurants or something. That is insane. Uh, mortgage is ten thousand dollars a month. I could have my mortgage paid off in like seven months. This is crazy. 
property taxes are $2,645. That looks normal. For whatever house they have, that looks about right as, as far as a, a yearly... Oh, no, that's a monthly expense. But still, that seems right depending upon uh, where it's at. Home insurance, $250 a month. That sounds normal. Gas, $100 a month. I, I think we spend more than $100 in gas. So that's actually amazing that they're only spending $100. Car insurance, $500 a month. We don't pay that much a month. But I guess depending on the... Maybe they have a Tesla. <laughs> maybe they have a Tesla. Maybe that's why they're, there's not much gas being spent. Um, life insurance, 300 If you have your own personal plan, I can see it being that much. And it depends on how big you made that life insurance plan. But you can still trim this down. You don't have... There are the life insurance uh, policies that are a lot less than that. Buying Bitcoin. Well, there's part of your problem. But it's only $100 a month. That's not a lot. Bitcoin is actually a lot more expensive to buy. So I don't know if he's setting aside $100 and then when he gets enough, buys a thing of Bitcoin. Um, $1,000 to charity. Hey, that's that's good. That's a good thing. Party supplies, $400. Party supplies every month. <laughs> They're spending $400. Can I go to one of their parties? Hey, man, invite me. I would love to go to one of your $400 parties. <laughs> uh, child, not yet born college fund, $1,000. That's good. That's that's nice. You're investing uh, for your kid's future. Flights, $3,000. $3,000 in flights a month. My goodness. I don't even know if I do that many flights with Flight Simulator. Look at this phone, 40 bucks, that's it. <laughs> I pay more money with my phone than that. How could their phone only be $40? Does only one of them have a phone? I mean, they've got everything else. I, that must be one of those rare things to where they actually bought their phone straight out and don't owe any money on it and so all they have to do is pay for the plan that's just weird two thousand dollars on clothes two thousand dollars vanguard contribution i i don't remember what vanguard is off the top of my head probably something that's not worth spending four thousand dollars on so they got twenty eight thousand three hundred and thirty $35 as far as all their expenses and you can see that it goes higher than their take-home pay so they're like uh, they're, they're missing like three thousand uh, dollars anyway <laughs> I know you're probably shaking your head like are you is this serious uh, just so you know this this website is called market watch um, it's a site that I go to um, you know, every now and then maybe a couple three or time three times a week in regards to the stock market and this came up and I'm just like mm, this is interesting uh, so first of all the median household income in Kansas comes in at 56,422 add to that the fact that the median home value in the state is down around 140,000 so as you might expect not a lot of tears are being shed uh, there the gist of the feedback, besides uh, questions over whether it's true or just expert trolling, is that nearly all the expenses could be slashed dramatically. Specifically, critics called out uh, like the $3,000 spent on food and the $2,000 spent on clothes. Now, with her being a model, I can see where some of that money is being spent. Um, although they don't, at least from what I understand, they don't have to buy the clothes that they model obviously because the company that you're modeling for wants you to model their stuff um uh, also i've been told too that a lot of models will sometimes be able to get some of that clothing for free i don't know i don't model um i don't know anyone that are models but still two thousand dollars i i guess you could buy a pair of shoes that has a lot of gold bling bling on it. I don't know. You just don't want to compromise your current lifestyle, writes Hollow West of Halos. 
and the most upvoted comment in the thread. Yeah, so, you know, the guy's saying, hey, you just don't want to compromise your, your lifestyle. Um, and then uh, another person drilled down saying $36,000 a year on food, $30,000 on property taxes. Can you believe that? $36,000 on food? What a waste. $30,000 on property taxes, $120,000 on a mortgage, $24,000 a, a year on clothing. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Everything you do is to be ostentatious. Ostentatious. There we go. Your food budget alone is a livable salary in the Midwest. That is so true. <laughs> 36000 a year. That is just nuts. Yes, a hundred days, hundred dollars a day spent on food seems way over the top, even if the couple lived in New York City. But in Kansas, um, as far as clothing, uh, the guy blames his wife's job as an influence. But as many homeowners across the country these days, it's the mortgage that does the most damage. In this case, Slavic Phil, this is the guy that was asking for help spends ten thousand dollars every month and that doesn't even include the taxes his explanation he bought the house for about 1.3 million dollars on a 10-year term hence the high monthlies refi into a 30-year like a normal person that mortgage is just absurd i have a kitty in here that might be trying to cause a problem i can actually see the 10-year term i i understand the logic and the sense on that because you want to get your home paid off as quickly as possible. Um, but on a $1.3 million home? I mean, if it was like a normal house, <laughs> a 10-year term, this guy could probably do it easy. Heck, they could probably buy a house within the first year. So, but anyway, a 10-year term would, would make sense. But $1.3 million? This guy like buys a mansion or something. Must be nice. Um, yeah, but they're saying, like, you're literally doing this to yourself. Uh, basically, a 10-year mortgage offers lower lifetime interest, but higher monthly payments that build equity much faster than a 30-year. Yeah, so, I mean, it may, a 10-year mortgage makes sense. If you can do it, a 10-year mortgage makes sense. I mean, 10 years, your house is paid for. It, it's yours. It's it's paid for. Um but you know, only if you can afford to do something like that. Uh, then there's the item that stands out as completely unnecessary, and that's the hundred dollars a month on Bitcoin. But uh, and they talk about how uh, cryptocurrency and their performance. But well, let's. That's a whole nother video. Anyway. One parting tip from Rico Rodimus Prime. I love the Transformers reference there, especially Rodimus Prime. Uh, I, th I hear Rodimus Prime, I always think of Transformers the movie. The real Transformers the movie. I mean the animated one. <laughs> oh, that is such a classic. Such a classic. Honestly, the only and best advice I can give you is don't care what others think of you. You could cut your lifestyle down to $10,000 a month and still live better than 95% of the population. When you stop caring about being flashy or having the newest car, latest style, etc., you will find you can control your money better. So, there you go. Wow, I wish I made that kind of money. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think of this? Is this, is this not a bizarre story this is just bizarre can you what if someone like this came up to you and asked you for advice hey man i'm having a hard time trying to pay my bills all right dude man let's sit down how much how much do you make uh how much do you bring home a a, a month uh, about twenty five thousand. <laughs> i everything i if i was holding anything i it would probably fall on the floor <laughs> at that moment I I probably would say here's a paper bag put it over your head like like the, this picture here it's like you should be well what's that they're saying uh, you should be seen and not heard maybe in this case you probably don't need to be heard or seen at all but I don't know my goodness 
what do you guys think of this? Is this is this crazy or what? Um, do you know anyone that makes a lot of money, but they don't know how to manage their money? Do you know people like that? They make so much money, but yet they they're poor because they don't know how to manage it. Um, and do you know people who don't make a lot of money, but yet they live a very rich and fulfilling life because they know how to manage their money? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments uh, uh, about that and what you think about this article. And if you're new here, subscribe because I have all kinds of stuff that I talk about on this uh, show and different types of stuff that I have on this channel. So subscribe. It makes me feel better. Um, but you also get to know when I upload another video. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on another rambling video shadow. Stop being a distraction. <laughs>